Hello Aquarius. Thank you for watching a Stella K video. We are here for your first half of August. How do they feel about you reading? I will be doing these series twice a month um, along with all my other series that I'll be doing. I know I'm a newbie so push the subscribe button. I'm doing pretty good though because I'm starting to show up on that little list so Keep on uh, watching and pushing those buttons, guys. I really appreciate it. I pray every night for it. I'm having so much fun doing this. Okay. Sorry, I just came down like three flights of stairs. I live in one of those three-story townhomes, and I just had to put my dog to bed. Because he won't stay put. <laughs> if he doesn't sleep with my son, then my son doesn't sleep. So it's like I have to put him to bed, too, like a baby. But he is like a big baby. Okay, if you look at my other videos, you'll see pictures of him because he was like actually one of my thumbnails in the beginning because he's so cute. His name is Vinny. He's my little Pama Poo and I love him. Anyways, this is for any Aquarius Sun Moon Rising. Like I said, this is your uh, Aquarius first half of August. How do they feel about you checking? We're going to see how your significant other partner... Um, you don't need to be talking to this person. Just think of somebody in your mind right now, and that's who we're going to read for. And not all of it will resonate with you. Hopefully most of it will. You know, don't make it your story if it's not your story. Remember, everybody has, you know, masculine and feminine and energy. So if I say he, she, king, queen, it doesn't matter. There's only been one time so far on YouTube I've had to actually, like, kind of um say I knew it was a boy or a girl but if I do I will tell you okay I hope everybody's safe and healthy and happy at home right now and I hope you subscribe because I really love doing this during your pre-shuffle I did not have a bad feeling I just had like a good feeling but no words came to me for some reason so I think you guys might have a little bit of problem with communication and I think that may be your problem like with your um whoever it is you're thinking about right now and whoever you're watching this video for because there were just like no words like almost like when you guys are around each other it's like um hi I really like you I don't know what to say like you guys are both shy people like that is what I got like okay the spirit just told me to cut again um I, I just got like you guys are both like super shy you Aquarius says and you're usually not because air signs are usually like you know you guys are like the communication buffs so let's just flip some cards and see what's up all right we got the queen of pentacles that's Capricorn um Taurus and Pi or bleh, Capricorn Vir Pi Taurus Virgo energy sorry full moon was yesterday so my language gets messed up Especially since it was in Capricorn and Saturn's in Capricorn right now. So it's like my speech goes all crazy. And then you got the lovers, Gemini I'm an energy. That is a fellow air sign. You got a little lovers going on. Is that what's going on with you guys when you guys can do that? And you, but you'll have a little problem talking. But after that, you get a little king of cups. Who doesn't want a little king of cups after that? That's uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. That's a big old cup of love, though. I mean, no wonder you guys are so shy. And then after that, you get the Ace of Cups, same energies. I mean, I don't think the signs are so important because I'm probably going to end up with every sign I normally do. But this is a big old cup of love. I feel like you guys are just shy. I told you, my spirit is good. After that, we got the Hydrophant. Like, in this guy, like, seriously, like... He is, like, everything. Like, he's a mentor. He's a teacher. I mean, it could just be a Taurus, but, I mean, you're really look up to this person, and you absolutely very much like them. This is a, this is going good so far. I think, you, and then the ton of cups. Oh, my gosh. How many cups can I get on this board? It's, like, cups and major arcana and one pentacle. But the queen of pentacles is good to have because that's, like, a totally stable person. The Ten of Cups is like ultimate happiness, ultimate love. Like this is just like love. This is the ultimate love too. And you have the Ace of Cups, which is more ultimate love, which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And then you get the Six of Cups, which is like generosity, you know? Okay, guys, why are you even watching this? I know you probably think you have a problem because you guys have communication issues. 
you guys may communicate. Like, I know Aquarius says, like, you guys are usually good at communication. But I really feel, okay, just give me a minute to look at these. What did I say? That it was, like, shy and almost, like, you guys don't come out and say what you need to say. Like, neither of you. Like, I feel like your partner may have a little more problem with it than you do because you're an air sign, so you probably are better at communication. But this person freaking loves you, like, loves you, loves you. I mean, you have the lovers, you have the king of cups, you have the ace of cups, you have the hydrophant, you have the ten of cups, and you have the t six of cups. So even if you have kids, they're going to be generous and love your kids. I mean, this could also be a past person that, just might be not like not be articulate as you are. Air signs are very intelligent and very articulate. I mean, if you're dating a different sign, you know, you have to understand that people, I think you almost don't understand that people communicate differently than you do. And not everyone is so eloquent with words and so intelligent. And there can be people that can almost come off cold because they don't know how to express themselves. And I feel like with this person, this person just doesn't know how to express express themselves to the point where sometimes they won't pick up the phone because they're, like, shaking. Like, oh my gosh, what am I going to say to this person? I like them so much, I don't want to mess it up. I told you, communication. You watch me shuffle the cards. Like, this is what all came up. I don't, you guys, and you're also, like, amazing lovers, like, you guys, or if you haven't done that yet, you will be, you know, this is also an option to make, too, and I feel like this option with this person is, like, okay, like, you need to pull it together, you need to pull it together, and if they're not talking to you right now, it's because they're trying to pull it together, they actually really have serious feelings for you. I have never had a spread like this. Never. Never, never, never. I usually only post, like, one on my, like, my friends' Facebook pages. Like, I'll put one in the news feed. And Libra's was good. And I was like, okay, this is really good. I'm going to put this one up here. And now I'm like, might erase that and put this one up. I mean, this person really cares for you. They just don't know how to communicate. And I think you guys just need to give them some space. Let them figure out what they want to do. Let them lead a little bit. But I feel like you're almost going to have to lead a little bit more because this person does not know what to say because they like you that much. And they're coming off cold be just because they're shy. Like almost like five of, you know, pentacles cold because sometimes they just don't know what to say to you because they don't want to mess anything up. Like this person doesn't want to mess anything up. They like you so much. You know, they just really have this like love in their heart for you and you're not seeing it because you're being cerebral. And I know this is a problem with air signs. I'm an earth sign, so I totally get where you're coming from when you're cerebral and you think things should start at A and end at Z and we, you know, follow the proper channels to get through a relationship. This person isn't like that. This person is very different. And... They're almost like a little eccentric, but they're very shy, even though like they maybe they can be at a party or go out and have fun with friends and stuff. But when it comes to like relationships, this person doesn't know how to articulate themselves very well. And I don't want you to be overwhelming and take the lead with them. But what I would like you to do is just let them know how much you like them and just slowly but surely make them feel comfortable enough to feel okay with you because I feel like there's a little bit of insecurity there within them too. They may have been hurt before and they may have been burned because sometimes that is what can cause someone to not be able to speak so well. So just give them time, give them small reassurances along the way each week. And I, I promise that this will grow. This is a beautiful reading. Let's do angel romance cards because I have a feeling these are going to be amazing too. I've never had a reading like this. I've been doing this over 20 years. Yes, I'm in my 40s. I know I'm really far away so you can't see me wrinkles. I do that on purpose. But this is 
This is amazing. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. They want to give you a pentacle. They want stability for you. Then the lovers. Good sexy time. Then the King of Cups. That's the biggest cup of love you can get besides Ace of Cups, which you also got. Then you got the Hydrophant, which is like marriage, wedding, serious relationships. Then the Ten of Cups. Total love, happiness, happy home. Then the Six of Cups. Generosity, and they will love your kids if you have kids. There's not one bad card on this board right now. Not one. These are all, all the most love you can get in this type of read. You got it all. You're not seeing it, though, because you're an air sign and you're cerebral. So I need you to be a little more gentle with this person, a little more heartfelt. And don't, like, don't push. Just make sure, like, you know, you're making them feel secure enough to share their feelings. And a little bit at a time, they will do it. But you have to have patience with them. You really do. You're going to have to have patience with this person. I'll tell you that right now. All right, healing family issues, your love life benefits, if you forgive your parents, that might be why this person is so shy. Maybe they had some family issues growing up or come from a divorced family, and sometimes that can make people shy with relationships. And if this person does come from an environment, and maybe you don't even know about it yet because maybe they don't want to tell you about it yet, but be careful with them, okay? And then separation, time apart, is on the horizon. I think the only time apart you're having is when this person isn't picking up the phone. I don't feel, and if you guys did break up, it was probably over communication because you want to hear more from this person and you want to feel more, but they're, even though they feel it all for you right here, they don't know how to articulate themselves and they can give up easily. Don't let them give up and you don't give up on them, but don't be crazy, not give up on them. Like, just don't give up on them. Like, just give them little, you know, boosts of confidence. This this person needs boosts of confidence. This could be the one. You are you already met the romantic partner you seek. What did I tell you? This person like really just needs a confidence boost. Even if they seem confident, if they're great looking, have money, whatever. I mean they still are going to need this because they come from an environment that you might not know about yet and things in their life and their past that you don't know about. And it's really scaring them to speak like and tell their true feelings because they don't want to get hurt again. And even men feel that way. I know us women don't believe men have feelings, but yes, they, they can also sound, they can be harder than on themselves than we are. You know, we have estrogen and, you know, all those hormones that just make us spew at the mouth sometimes. But men, it is so much harder. So if you're a woman watching this, especially, like, you just need to, like, little by little, make him feel secure and safe with you. Because he's not feeling safe. But I don't think he'd feel safe with anyone. I don't think it has anything to do with you. Okay? This person loves you, though. They really care about you. And I'm sorry that they gave you a little separation because they do need to feel like heal these family issues. But this is something until he feels safe with you, you can't push him to tell you he or she and you cannot make them tell you. You just are going to have to be very patient and very calm and just build their confidence with them in this relationship. And it will take time. And that's the best advice I can give you. But all I see is love here. Every card here on the board represents love. You know? And even the angel romance ones explains it. Like, this person just needs to feel secure. And he needs to trust you or she needs to trust you. So just make sure they know that you're there. But don't expect it to happen in a week. This, this kind of process can take months. So if you are in for that, then be in for that. But when it comes to relationships like this, it's friends first and partners later. And you can still have the lovers, but just make sure you're always being open to them and you don't ever tell your family or other friends about anything they tell you. Make sure this person completely trusts you. 
Because I have a feeling that they have a problem with that. But I feel like that's your only problem because they really love you. Lucky people. Little Aquarius says, you guys are always lucky. Okay, I'm Stella. Don't forget, I give out free readings every Friday. Um, all the information's below. All you have to do is subscribe and then comment below that you subscribed and you're in for a free hour reading. And I'm also giving out free decks of cards at the end of the month. So I hope you subscribe because I'm a newbie and I need subscribers. And just good luck with this person because for the people this resonates with, you got a great person right here. They really love you. They just don't know how to show it. Okay. Give them some time and just give them some reassurance. I love you guys. I'll check in with you in mid-August. Okay. Bye.